he is one of the best at his position and the game that he came up with against the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, we were all talking about it one week ago at this point um, because he shut down Justin Jefferson. He is one of the best corners in the game, and he's part of the 3-0 and Philadelphia Eagles. Joining us on the Mercedes-Benz Vans phone line is Darius Big Play Slay. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How's What's going on in the world of Philadelphia? Darius? Uh, not much. Not much. It's chilling. It's chilling. It's slate. But we just chilling. Okay, very good. Who was the first person to call you big play? Darius Slay. Uh, my coach, uh, Coach uh, Jeff Collins. You know, um, that's that. Well, he was a Georgia Tech head coach, but uh, he got fired a couple of days ago. But, uh, yeah, he the one who gave my uh, my uh, my nickname. Well, how did you earn it? Uh, well, I was in a uh, spring ball, and I was like, you know, I had probably like came in, came from JUCO, came into Mississippi State as a junior. Mm-hmm. Uh, came in to spring ball. I mean, I was not spring, spring ball, and I had like freaking ten picks in like a matter of like five days of practice. <laughs> <laughs> so coach was like, he just make big plays every week. They say, you know, this like. And then my name kind of rhymed with play, so they say big play slay. Big go. play slay. Now, when you came into the pros, um, w- did anybody call you that as well, or you had to earn it there, Darius? Well, right. well, I got kind of, I got it. I had to earn it a little bit, you uh-huh. know, as in getting called big play because I had to make big plays in the on the field. But uh, everybody called me slay for sure. But then, uh, you know, the media world got into it as the plays were getting made that I was like to be called. Big play slay. Okay. And now you're part of a 3-0 and team in Philadelphia. Um, just want to jump in before we get to the bigger picture stuff. Just drill down to that Monday night game where you were going up against Justin Jefferson. What was your mindset going into that game, Darius? Uh, it's slay. But uh, it's, uh, it, was, it was like a normal game week, you know, uh, I go in every week, and it's not that, you know, because of who Jess Jefferson was. You know, he's a great guy, but uh, the whole NFL got talented guys in the league. So I was just going in with the same mindset as that and beat the guy in front of me more than uh, he beat me. So, but uh, for sure, Justin is one of the best in the game. But uh, like I said before, like I'm one of the best too. So, but it was just, uh, just uh, another day at the office and going to work. So um, what is your philosophy on traveling with the number one guy? What's your philosophy on uh, well, I, I mean, I don't ever mind it. My coach know that uh, I'm willing to do that at any time of the day, any point of the week. And, uh, you know, uh, I love doing it because, you know, it gets the best out of me. I uh, plan to get some of the best guys in the world. I have fun doing it. So it's just a very competitive. It makes me a better person. And um, and it makes them a better uh, player, too, as well. You know, uh, but the best on the best keep going against each other. Well, what do you say to a coach who's just like, well, scheme-wise, we're just going to play at our scheme and you don't travel with the number one guy. How do you handle that, Darius? I take it cool. You know, I just I, I believe in my coaches. So whatever they need me to do, I'm going to do. I'm not a selfish guy. So I'm a guy that's just very selfless. Like I just don't I don't mind doing anything the team need me to do to help us win. So if that's me traveling, I travel. If that's me not traveling, I don't travel. So whatever they need me to do, I'm just here to uh, help win. But what do you prefer? What do you prefer? I mean, of course I prefer to travel, but yes. ain't what I prefer. At the end of the day, is uh, it's all about the team. Okay, so I know, like this week, for instance, you're 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 pointing at Christian Kirk. Is that what you would? Is that who you would be on for this coming week? Dennis? I mean, uh, it's slay, but uh, we ain't uh, you know, do our game plan all the way yet, so we don't know what's going on yet. So we'll just figure that out tomorrow. Okay, look, uh, that's the third time you've done this in this interview, so I need to know what is the definition of slay. Because I think you've used it as a verb and a noun, a proper noun. What What's the definition of slay, Darius Slay? Definition of slay, there's no definition to it. It's just my last name. Right. But you said it's slay. It sounds like you're referring to it as, like, you know, something else other than just your last name. No, I'm referring to it as in, too, as in, we, I don't like, I don't say I don't like being called Darius, but I like everybody to call me oh, slay. Oh, I'm sorry. So, so I should just... Look, we've just met. I mean, I just I want to make yeah, sure. I know, I know, I know. That's what I was telling you. I was like, when you say Darius, I'm like, nah, it's Slay. Rich, okay. my name is Slay. Thought, I'm going to call him Slay. Oh, okay. I, I, I got it. Okay. Yeah. I got it. I just want to make sure. I just thought you were referring to to it's like, you know, it's a it's a, it's a, it's a, a mindset. No, like Brockman. You call him Brockman. You don't call him Chris. I just call him Chris sometimes. Like Mamba mentality. Like, you know, I mean, All right, Slay. Yeah. So, so mama named Slay. So I'm going to call him I just didn't want to, I didn't want to, you know, be so presumptuous, but I can do that is what you're saying. <laughs> Yeah, it's late. Okay, it's late. 
All right, Slay. Uh, I've got so when I, you know, it, this is a radio show too, so I have to do what's a professional. I'm not to drag you too into my profession, professional weeds here, but I have to reset so people who are just driving around know who I'm talking to. Is it all right uh, if I reset as Darius Slay or should I just reset as Slay? You tell me. I mean, it's cool. Just know, you know, as we just that, you know, as it just know it's Slay for the most part. Okay. Sure. Like, you can introduce it as Darius Slay, but uh, when we get to talk, he's like, hey, Hey, what up, Slay? What do you think about this, Slay? <laughs> yeah. what All up, right, Slay? It's Slay, Slay's here on the Rich Eisen Show from go. the 3-0 Philadelphia Eagles. or It's it's Slay from the 3-0 Eagles, right? So I'll just yeah. do, okay, we'll do that. I love this. Fantastic. <laughs> right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Can you please give me an example, Slay, of how Jalen Hurts is leading this team? Can you give me uh, one? He just, by just by doing everything the right way and, um, you know, he's just a, a honest guy, man. You know, you know, we can't control play, you know. So how he carry himself makes him a leader as, for this team. It's not how he plays his game. But, you know, of course that dude goes along with it, but he does kind of like lead it by example as in how he carries himself as a man and as a professional. So can you please give me an example of that, Slay, where you're like, okay, I will follow this man? Uh, just about, you know, as he prepared for work, as in when we got, uh, you know, first in the building type mess so it's like more like it's kind of like hard to like give like a, a strong example but sure because you know, he got rid he got like great words of encouragement you know and uh and you know a lot of guys kind of build off encouragement so he got a way to like motivate us he's a good motivator for sure and just seeing him perform the way that he does how how does that electrify your side of the ball your place on the sideline with your teammates as you were getting ready to make sure the uh, opponent does not answer uh say that again so how does his play when he does what he does how electric he is and the rest of mm -hmm. the offensive team how does that uh play with you slay where you're like okay how does that electrify you as you then get back on the field and make sure that your opponent does not answer oh great because we just know uh our goal is to get you know that offense the ball as many as possible as much as possible because we know they can score mm -hmm. and uh and Jalen doing a great job as you know managing the offense controlling the game, making the checks he need to make to get the, to get the guys in the right position. So uh, if they keep continue to keep doing as they're doing, man, we're going to continue to keep helping them. So I go on defense always to go out there and try to get get them the ball as fast as they can because they can score at any time. Slay here on the Rich Eisen Show. By the way, we've graphically <laughs> supported it now. It just only says Slay next to your face on the screen, just so you understand. Nice. Okay, we're just trying. We're just, we're just trying to go with what you're, what what you'd like. Uh, I love this uh, here on the Rich Eisen Show. Have, are, are, have you seen that Batman cape, Slay? That's on. Oh, four. Okay, what do you think of it? I loved it. Uh, I'm the one you know, kind of came up, well came up with it as the name of the Batman name. But uh, I told uh, AJ said, man, we should get a cape. I said, yeah, but we got to get a cape. Put it on the sideline. <laughs> Okay, please walk me through this. So it was your idea for the cape, Slay? Well, we were both coming up with it. As okay. in like, hey, man, we should probably get a cape and bring it on the sideline. And, and if y'all go, we should do it. Because, like, you know, it's just a, something fun, something that Trey Martin boys can do because they have a very talented group, man. Mm -hmm. The whole receiver core, they work hard and all that and everything. So, um, yeah, man, it's, it's smooth as, you know, it's taking off at the right time. Okay, so it, it's only for the offense? There's nothing for the de – there's no cape for the defense? In Philly? Nah, uh, they, uh, we, we, uh, they the offense. We the, uh, we more like, uh, hmm. Yeah. Nah, I don't know yet. <laughs> I mean. But that's for the offense for sure, though. I don't know. Let's come up with a, what is it, uh, Thanos? Can we come up with, like, an Avengers thing here? What do you think? You got a glove? <laughs> uh, like a glove? I don't know. We thinking on it. We ain't really worried about us as of that. With that. I just kind of do, you know, defense, we all, we collect the group, man. We, we kind of like. We'd be chilling, so it's not on like a bigger group, group like a whole group, because it take an effort for the whole thing. But the whole team a great effort thing, but the offense, man, they put a lot of points on the board, so we let the, we let the offense put on the cake. Okay, and uh, what did you see on film or just know of about Wentz, your former teammate? I know that you haven't been in Philly that long, but that you were able to exploit this past week with the defensive performance, it's like. Um, just try to be disguised and just try to disguise our coverage the best way we can. And uh, to make them really have to think and, uh, and hold the ball for a little second so our D-line can get there because we got a great D-line out here rushing, uh, rushing stuff. So we try to just make it easy, make it hard for him to read the coverage so it can make it easy for us. Okay. And d just knowing his tendencies to hold on to the ball, did you guys know 
Talk about that. I going mean, in? that's the yeah, that's the tent. That's the goal. Uh, you know, try to make a hold on to the ball as much as we can. Because, like I said, we got to, it's rushing cover. It's a, it's a team effort. So, you know, we knew we had to cover good for them guys to get great rushes. And they got guys like them for them. You know, just in case we mess up ever, they get a good rush. So, we don't have to cover too long. So. Okay. Uh, what would it mean for you to win a Super Bowl there in Philly? Obviously, you weren't there the last time it happened, but uh, I'm sure you you saw the party and you know what it would be like because uh, a lot of folks are talking about your team having the opportunity now that you've been uh, undefeated through the first three weeks, Slay. Like... Yeah, we not. Uh, I mean, it's always going to be a blessing to win a Super Bowl. But at this moment, we're not really t- too much worried about, you know, a Super Bowl right now. We're just worried about the next one. We just try to be uh, – they go one and zero each and every week. So okay, right now it's still zero. It's still zero and zero to us. Okay, you know, even though the record say three and zero, but we really zero and zero into going into this week. So we're just trying to be one and zero each week. Last one for you, Slay. Is it true you gave one of the uh, interceptions, one of the footballs from uh, your your uh, terrific week two performance um, to James Harden? Did that happen? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know one, that's one of my guys. As a, as an, I like to watch in basketball, so you know to be able to get him the ball, man, was a blessing for me as well. Uh, like I said, James Harden won, uh, you know, future Hall of Fame won, uh, you know, one of the greatest shooting guards ever. So, why not? You know, I got a great opportunity. When did you meet him? How did you meet him? Well, I, I that's my first time meeting him because I just saw oh. him at the game. You know, we both, you know, he paid for the school stuff here. You know, the uh, Sixers, I paid for these. So, we both, you know, important guys like in, sure. in, uh, in, in the state of Philly. So, you know, why not us? Why not you? So you saw James Harden. You're like, here, you take it. That's the way it worked. Yeah, yeah. Here you go, man. You know, hey, we, we all together. We all one unit. So you know, they want to win a championship. It's like we want to win a championship. So we trying to bring this city something special. Is that your first professional assist? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Just wondering. Yes. Okay. One my one my first one. Okay. And then Harden took it to the rack. No doubt he went to the line. I'm sure because that's what he usually does. <laughs> Do you see? No, nah, nah, he went to the rack. With the and one. Oh, with the and one. Oh, okay. So just one, one the shot. One. Okay, understood. Got it. So one shot, one shot. Do you see? He look. He look. He looks really good. He's lost his weight. He's lost weight. He looks really, really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for him, man. I can't wait to see what he do this year. Okay. You know, God's limit. All right. So the Super Bowl and then the Larry OB. That's the way it's going to go in Philadelphia. Okay. Uh, that, I mean, we, we hope it for, but we 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 will continue to play one game at a time. Slay, I hope this is the first of many times that you're on this program, and I will never call you by your first name again. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks for the call. Keep balling right, out, sir. You. Keep balling out. All right. hey, there he is. That's Slay of the Philadelphia Eagles, all pro corner here on the Rich Eisen Show. At Big Play 24 <laughs> Slay on Twitter. Yeah, I hear calling him his government name. Rich. Now, I mean, I asked him questions, I and I'm did, like, it's a and he goes, though, it's yeah. Slay. And I honestly thought he was just using that word as – a different meaning. No, no, no. <laughs> he was correcting me on what I should be calling. He's like, you can just call me Slay. No, but he said, it's Slay. Yeah, yeah. And right, you didn't get that. Did you... said, the way he I, said it I got it, it immediately because like... I've heard him say it before. Oh, I've not oh, heard I, him okay, say it. Okay, I've never heard him say it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It did seem like... That's why like, I'm like, okay, I'll ask you, like, mantra, what, is, like, what are the different meanings? Yeah, it's Brock. And I thought I'd get, well, Slay means, you know... Yeah, that was just, you know... It's like competition. Slay means, you know, I've got it. Like, it's too jiggy. It's Brock Shady. Like, it's like that. What's my name? Uh, Richie. No. Anybody seen Richie? Hey. Hey. See, I don't have that. I'll never have that. Well, you're from New York. You should have no, that. I know what that. Was your, well, was your on the block? What was your name? My na- buddy Jay calls me Dicky Eyes. Dicky Eyes. Oh, bro. That's, that's, that's perfect. Great. No, it's not. That's that's a good fella's nickname, right there. I know there. it's, but that's that's you know when you're on the golf course and you're having a drink. Hey, Dicky Eyes, I know, right? Hey, like, hey, forget no, about it. He's like it. it's called Slay. Slay. It's Slay. It's like Slay. I said, Mama named him Slay. I'm gonna call him Slay. It's Slay. And and kudos to our uh, Rich Eisen show crew for <laughs> immediately taking Top-notch Darius graphics. off. It just says Slay. Can we put that out one more time? I want to see that. I know you were you you grabbed your phone because be careful. That's how you get suspended is taking pictures <laughs> off of television. But that's TJ. ours. You see, that's our. Uh, that's okay. Our, that's yeah. Ours, I yeah. will not. I will not try and ding you with the social yeah, it was, media. It was not the zones. Okay. That's a big word. Slay. Slay. Great name, by that's the way. That's a great, great name. name.